What? Welcome back to Kinetic Concepts for another critique. These officers actually did a lot of things right here. An officer was on patrol in Decatur, Illinois when he observed a male in a vehicle with a firearm. The officer got behind that vehicle and attempted a traffic stop, which resulted in a vehicle pursuit. Sometime during the vehicle pursuit, the officer heard a gunshot and saw the suspect put the firearm out the window. The officers did a good job, but there are some things they can improve on. Let's watch the body cameras. <laughs> Well, there might be more than him. I know you are. So this officer sees the suspect driving towards him, and when the officer comes to a stop, he draws his firearm, which I think is the right thing to do if you're going to stop, because you don't know if the suspect's actually going to stop in the street and start engaging you as well. This is the same officer in the previous video that was yelling at the other officers that there might be somebody else in the car. So this officer engaged, and he actually didn't know who all could be in the car, which is pretty common. I don't know anyone that is being trained or has trained to shoot at a car that's traveling 35 plus miles an hour. Just because you can legally shoot doesn't mean it's always the best option. I would be really curious to know where the rounds landed because the suspect in this case was never injured. I like the way the officers positioned their vehicles here. It did a few things. First of all, it divided the suspect's attention. So if he was to get out of the vehicle and turn around, he's just going to have more he's going to have to deal with. And it also blocked the street from any citizens wanting to pass through the scene. For some reason, people like to drive right through the middle of police scenes. All this wasn't too bad, there's not a lot to talk about. I like that the officers stopped a pretty good distance away from the suspect's vehicle, and that the officers down the street both positioned their vehicles to get out of the way and also divert traffic from entering the scene. The officers on the left here move up to create another angle, which I thought was pretty good. There are a few critiques here though. The officer in all black doesn't have his gun out, and he doesn't get it out till they actually move up. I really do like that this officer here got into a dominant position so that if this suspect comes out with a gun, that officer has to do minimal things to put accurate rounds on that guy. 
You have to put yourself in a position where you feel like you can dominate and win. An example of positions that aren't dominant are the positions of the two officers on the sidewalk there. You should be asking yourself, if the suspect starts shooting, what am I going to do? And if the answer is run, then you probably shouldn't be standing there. I do realize that sometimes you may have no other choice, like the middle of the street, an empty parking lot, or a field or something like that. I'm not sure why the officers moved up to arrest this guy. In a perfect world, they should have called him out of his vehicle and called them back towards their vehicle where they could have arrested him there. That way they could focus on the car and move up and clear the car. But instead, all three of these officers move up, and actually no one pays any particular attention to the vehicle at this point. And it's not until these additional officers run up and realize that the vehicle still needs clear. And they actually clear it from both the left side and the right side, which obviously is a crossfire issue. If you can at least get the suspect to get out of the vehicle and get onto the ground, there is a way that you could cover down on the suspect as you move up to make the arrest and cover down on the vehicle at the same time by doing it from the same side. Calling the suspect back to your vehicle with an arrest team waiting, I think is a pretty standard thing now. Then once he's in custody, you can get a team together to go up and clear the car more efficiently. We really shouldn't have the mentality of, oh well, it worked out, because it could work 99% of the time, but that other 1% of the time that it doesn't work out, you could lose your life. It's always best to try to get the suspect to comply from a distance and if he's complying, that probably also means that you have enough time to formulate a plan to make the arrest. If you like the content, hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. Shot fired! Shot fired! Officer down! Officer down! Hey, hey.